it's time for another YouTube celebratory hop and this time it is for Rebecca Moore she also goes by Precious Pages Papercraft and she has reached 500 subbies so yay Rebecca yay! so as usual it's tradition it seems to be tradition anyway to do a scrap lift and I went through Rebecca's Instagram feed and her YouTube videos and wow she does the most amazing mixed media seriously so she's really gonna stretch me and challenge me I do do mixed media sometimes but not a whole lot probably because I'm not that good at it although maybe if I did it more I might be who knows anyway this is what I chose to scrap lift that's just some of my scribbles and I'm going to deviate a little bit in that I've picked a rather unflattering photo which I've printed in black and white. It was taken inside the cinema trying to get both of our faces in a selfie. So it's quite grainy. I converted it to black and white because the colours were not great anyway. And I thought since Rebecca's version has quite a few little black elements I could sort of bring out that black again. I really like how she's put some paper here and here and I thought I could use this um, from Chamel's field trip. I wanted some a rainbow that had a slight retro vibe because we were going to see Ready Player One at the cinema. This was uh, going back a few years. So that is why I've used this cream paper by Carter Bella from, I think it's Boy Oh Boy, or it's one of their older boy collections. And it's just got um, little game gaming consoles printed all over it. So I think it will still pass for a sort of a background. I do like pattern paper backgrounds, even if I'm going to do mixed media. I did put clear gesso over it although I probably didn't need to because Carter Bella's got that beautiful thick textured cardstock which I think will handle water quite nicely. My only thing is that I did print it with a white border. I'm toying with the idea of cutting it off and replacing it with a cream one but possibly some of the embellies might have white I don't know. Now if I fold this down and leave it that's going to have white not that fussed about mixing white and cream but if I'm going to do it I need to do it a lot all over the page so I think I'm going to put something else just behind that section that folds over something darker that's got a bit more contrast Rebecca used for her she used the packaging technique there and she used distress inks for that which I really like to do as well I'll see how it stands up on the cream with the pattern if I need to amp up the volume in terms of pigment I might switch over to the distress stains but I'm hoping that I really can't be bothered looking for them using the gesso the downside is that gesso makes it really challenging to write so yeah that might not have been the smartest move but anyway now I will mark the photo roughly I'm not too fussed about those pencil lines because that's without any paper layers the packaging technique is a bit of a no-brainer so I was quite relieved when Rebecca did that I turned the camera off I decided I needed some punchier splatters and I went through and pulled out some random mists that I thought would go um, I'm not a hundred percent convinced at how it turned out but I'm gonna roll with it like most mixed media there's a stage where it looks horrible yeah hopefully it looks better from there either that or it doesn't and it goes in the bin but I don't want that to be the case with this so I cut these I, I think one and a half inches is how big I want the strips but there is this old Kaisercraft robot collection 
and I think this could be good for the paper that is behind it. Now I'm going to stick it on upside down so that when it's turned over it's the right way up. And I started to rip it because I thought if I cut it at two inches and then rip it I'll get roughly one and a half. I realised that I should probably rip them both together. Here we go. I'm going to be feeling for it at the back to make sure I get both layers. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it's not too bad. Okay, so there's a rip then that goes down the middle. That's about the red. I'm going to rip it in a bit of a V shape. So I'm just going to do the same with the next one. And then I'm going to stitch them down. So after having done a zigzag across here, I thought that the stitching looked a little bit, I don't know, just lonely. So I went around the layout twice with just messy straight stitch. And the messier it is, the better because it looks more purposeful. So I made sure I overlapped a few times and yeah. Gotta say though, the more I look at Rebecca's, Lovely, neat, restrained mixed media. Yeah, I should have known that mine would go out of control, but it is what it is. Can't change it now. And I think once I put some more stuff on the page, it will look a lot better. I liked the way Rebecca has got the white border and then she's put a thin black mat. So I did pull out some black cardstock, but then the more I thought about it, I thought about using this paper, which is a dark navy that sort of almost passes for black and I think that bringing that back in again would make it less random and I think it would bridge the gap between the blues and the black because sometimes they can be a little bit like cream and white unless you use both of them a lot in the layout then they can be a bit funny Mainly navy and black sort of tend to compete. So this is that paper. I've got loads of it left. And I would have to probably do the border a little bit bigger than just a really skinny one. But that's okay. It'll do. This feels really weird not having a bunch of layers, but I do think that, yeah, and it is more true to Rebecca's original design. Okay, let's get this title down. I'm just going to stick this down. I think I probably will have to resort to blue dots considering the gesso. has got more room at the side so we're gonna move it this way a little bit of foam the regular roller adhesive just does not stick to this stuff and at least the actual adhesive is quite strong but I prefer to apply that to the paper side and then trusty glue dots because I don't do liquid glue they just yeah I mean I will if I absolutely have to and there's no alternative but since there is now title I think I'd probably better get the journaling down before I get any of these embellishments happening just to make sure I don't run out of room Is 
legible just I realized it probably had more to do with my handwriting than the pen or anything else but it is what it is so embellishment time okay I just realized as well that I haven't left room for something here but there's a lot of dead space over here in the top of the photo so maybe I can put that here instead let's try that so what Rebecca's done is she she does have some black but she's got some colorful embellishments and she's put them in the areas on the corresponding part of the page so this orange one would sort of go here somewhere this two although it's not the right kind of blue would go there and I've just realized I really do want to have this moved over this way it's not completely impossible okay let's see As much as I can probably get away with I will probably build out just a little bit more on this side but I remembered that I pulled out this paper thing they kind of remind me of those big film reels like that the cinemas use but more importantly they sort of reinforce the rainbow motif even though there's a lot of turquoise a few different shades of aqua and turquoise which don't appear in the paper but I think it's enough to get the idea so I might cut a few out and I can probably just get away with some of these partial ones because I'll be tucking them in and around and I've got a few sticker sheets so I can build something here there are quite a few things here I like this let's be weird together because that's very much a max and mama thing to do but it's got this minty green that just doesn't really appear anywhere else there is this rainbow adventure, but I don't want it to look as though it says my mini player one adventure. There is this, which has got a nice sort of lovey-dovey sentiment, and that kind of feeds in with the journaling. I wish you love and adventure and every amazing thing that could ever happen, because the journaling does have a bit of a lovey-dovey vibe to it. I haven't figured out a way of how to stay neat while I'm in the process of making layouts. about something like that but I kind of like this it sort of reinforces that rainbow motif okay I will just run with this Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now, I realised that if I put this chipboard piece, I don't know if it's self-adhesive. It is. This is, I think, from the Cosmo Cricket Boyfriend Collection. It's going back. And this works, I think, well in this space, but also with the colours that are there. I might as well adhere the numbers 1 and 2 because I know that those will be used for sure and I think they can have pop dots and I might as well use these taller ones because I have them and it'll just give some different in height now what I would like to do is figure out where the black lines of text are going to go some of these little guys okay there's a red one it looks kind of orangey red though I have 
have it. This bit needs something that goes here. It's a ticket, which, considering the stories about the cinema, I'll be honest, it is not turning out the way I imagined. And that frequently happens. But I just have to roll with it. I'm not entirely sure what I dislike. Maybe this. Maybe I don't like the white. I'll just pull that off. I pulled this guy out from under there because when I found this Echo Park sheet, which I was looking for everywhere, I have to say, and then there's that uh, Simple Stories, the newer, the newest boy line from them, and there are some black words here and here and some game motifs. Yeah, so there was a little yellow guy here. He's different again because all the other ones I've used are different. And I think if I make him that one different too, it might look a bit better. As though that was the plan all along. Could put him there actually. See, buddies would work because we are. Or uh, my bros and then I would just cut that and save my bro because we, we call each other bro although I don't think three years ago we hadn't started doing that three years ago so adventure sorry not sorry actually that that kind of sorry not sorry is not too bad because what I do mention in the journaling is that we were doing all these um back to school jobs like I'm pretty sure getting a haircut was on the agenda because his hair looks really long and scraggly looking and kind of was an adventure and I've written about adventure that this thing has adventure in there then I could just put the buddies from this sheet and it's almost like adventure buddies sorry not sorry yeah that's not bad I'm kind of liking that a little bit better than I did all right I'm gonna run with that. I do apologize if you're new to my channel. My desk does start out looking reasonably okay and then it sort of degenerates. All right, I am almost there. I also found this, it's one of these thin chipboard bits that comes from that crepe paper collection. I don't know whether I want the three or the four. I'm kind of leaning towards the four. It fills up that space a little bit better and that way it's a small one and then a big one and then a small one and then a big one. So I need to just add some adhesive. I really like these black stars and I thought that I could bring in those thickers again and use the little asterisk ones that they've put and that would just tie it back into the title again. So if I did two plus something else here and then two plus something else here, maybe, maybe one of these and two of those. Well, look, that's it's not how I imagined it, I'll be honest, but it is a story told, and I think that's about all I can say for that. Yeah, Rebecca's done a much better job with her version, but, you know, a story told is always a win in my book, and a lesson learnt from, uh, for next time. So it is what it is, happy enough with that, and definitely check out this Rebecca's version of the same layout which I'll link below and I'll also in the comments below we'll put the full lineup of the girls who are participating in Rebecca's 500 subby celebratory hops so make sure you start with Rebecca and work your way down visit everybody and um, leave all the girls some love anyway so thanks so much for stopping by I hope you come back again until then bye